25 years. His name is Parish Around. We're here tonight because return to humanity is where I think we should be because we're going away from that. And I didn't realize how many wonderful, compassionate artists there were out there and how many compassionate people. So the idea that Ruti and I had had, was that we get four to five hundred people, and trust me, there'll be more coming, four to five hundred people under the same roof, networking with each other, and talking about ways in which we can help our communities, whether you live in Kent, whether you live in Miami, whether you live in Camden Town, whether you live in New Jersey, it doesn't matter where you live, Manchester, you know, my hope, our hope, mine and Ruti's hope is that you can be inspired tonight by the artists that have come out for one night, one night to make this statement and say, you care. We're food, we're food for all, in association with Gilgamesh, and it's our time tonight to return to humanity. Thank you. And so we're going to have a little bit of um, uh, uh, music in between, Danny. But Danny is one of the supporters of Food for All. He used to play Manchester United, and he now plays in Salford City. A lovely guy, he's got some good morals, he's got children, and he cares about Food for All. So I want, to give, I want, to give, I want everybody to give it up for Danny Weber, please. Like I'm in Oasis. <laughs> Evening everybody. Uh, thank you Jenny. I uh, just basically wanted to come and support, you know, a good a good charity um, which is food for all. I think uh, I've been on a I'm 33 years old, for most people who probably won't know me. I played football for the for the last 15 years, which has put me on a an up and down journey. I think with regards to how everybody views football and some of it be true I think I've had I probably spent my early 20s and up until I had my first my first child at 25 living the fast life and thinking that it was all about materials and it was all about you know cars and etc etc I think and then I sort of hit 25 and my daughter shook my head a little bit and made me think hold on a minute it's not just about the material things whilst it's nice to have them it's um, that's not the be all and end all I think I've since had another two boys, um, one and two, and got with sort of my, my new partner of Janine who's here tonight, who's I've been with for five years. I think it woke, woke me up even further as to what, what's out there. I think you, you're, when you're in football, you're in a bubble quite often, and you don't realise how you can help people and how far you can reach out to people and how, you know, it's, it's all well and good doing the things with the football club and the generic things that everybody steps into. But as far as, <clears throat> as far as sort of doing something that you truly believe in or something that hits, hits you in your soul, this was something that really sort of um, resonated with me. I'm a, I've come up from Manchester. I mean, I have no affiliation to London or to Camden or any local areas, but sort of meeting Jenny and listening to what she does um, and obviously the, fe the feeding of people and the way it's done and the sort of humanitarian effect it you know it, it, had, a, it had a profound effect on me so um, I think from you know for, for not wanting to bore you for the night I think it's important 
that everybody helps, everybody gives, and that's not necessarily in a monetary way. I think giving to another person, giving to, you know, help somebody with the bags, and it sounds silly and it might sound a little bit soft to certain people, but, you know, help somebody with the bags, help somebody every day. And I think if everybody goes out of the way to help somebody every day, it'll, um, <clears throat> you know, things like this will, you know, will grow, things like that, well, you know, it helps society. And I think sometimes it gets a bit lost. I try and influence my children in that way. I think um, they don't, one and two year old boys don't do it at the moment. They just like fighting. They don't understand the concept of sharing at the moment. But, but I, can, I can run with that at the moment. Um, but yeah, on, on a whole, I just wanted to say, you know, a big, a big, big up to Jenny, basically, and what you've got going here. Um, I hope everybody supports it and has a good night. I'm sure the acts will be, will be fantastic. I look forward to seeing them for the, for the, for the, um, for the evening. And enjoy yourself. <laughs> Roger Robertson, he's been mayor in Camden Town twice and it's a big feat to be mayor in Camden Town twice and he's supported us from day one. Um, quite a spiritual guy as well, he wouldn't want people to know that but he is. And his name is Roger Robertson and I'd really, really appreciate it if you could actually listen to what he has to say. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. I won't try to, I won't try to bore you. Uh, I want to just say this, that Food for All is an organization that I really do admire so much for its work to provide nutritionally balanced vegetarian meals to different groups of people, homeless, disadvantaged, financially challenged on a daily basis for free and as a councillor, and I'm a councillor still, representing one of the most deprived areas in Camden, St. Pancras and Summers Town, and someone who has lived with and saw poverty as a child. When I lived in Glasgow as a child, I saw poverty then, and I admire Food for All, targeting as it does the homeless, and the single parents, elderly, unemployed, and disabled members of our community, and those who are marginalized. And I'd like to thank Parra and his colleagues for all that hell of work they do, fantastic work, and is admired greatly everywhere. At a time when the national government sees its ways by making drastic cuts to local government, which means for us here in Camden, Massive cuts to funding for organisations who provide, who provide luncheon clubs, for example, for the elderly and those without funds themselves, or provision of facilities to make life much happier in a world of poverty and pain. Food for All provides a spiritually enriched alternative for those without anything. I respect it so much as I do Red Jen who I've known for years, who worked so hard, and who care, and who's caring for all, and cares for food for all. I knew her in the happier days and times when she and me worked to help the late Barry, Barry Sullivan with the Camden Town Neighborhood Advice Center, Syntac, giving help and advice free for those in the environment and community, faced with poverty, appalling landlords, discrimination and a need for a hand to care and help. Alas, it's all gone now. It went out, went out due to a lousy policy by local government and is missed even now and Red Gen played a vital part in that organisation. I admire her and respect her and her work with Food for All and all her colleagues for carrying on as she is in the fight against poverty and pain. We do live in a world where all that seems to matter is capitalism and poverty and provision of war and death and the mass of poverty stricken people in this lousy world facing nothing but poverty and pain and an end to life exploited by faceless people counting their shares. My respect and love to Food for All tonight and forever, and for all who work for it, 
and for people who need its service and its caring. Thank you very much indeed for this. Gentle and sweet way, I guess, yeah, so that'll be good. But well, it's an easy start for everybody. You can relax and enjoy their great music. Thank you. And what a good cause! A nice clap for them! Yes. Hi, uh, we're Tara and Henry. Uh, this is a song called Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Sorry. Sorry, alright, here we go.
a song about, about a load of different characters that we've come across in our life. Can anyone hear a guitar? Technical issues. Right, this song's called What You See Is What You Get. Got more technical issues, sorry. Can we all hear that? Can we have a round of applause for Jenny for putting this night on? Hey! And fuck me, how good was 
We did as a charity single for Food for All, and the gorgeous Jenny sang back in vocals on it. I don't know if she's around, but she wants to come up and sing back in vocals on it today.
close to my heart because some years ago, around the Olympics, when Parish Aram was feeding the homeless on the streets, Camden Council and various others were fining them for feeding the homeless. Can you believe it? Yeah? So I wrote this. Thank you for visiting Deathminster. We hope you had a wonderful day. Now we're a million pounds richer with all the fines that you've just had to pay. And don't feed the hungry and homeless or you'll just get another big fine. Because here in the borough of Deathminster, we've just made compassion a crime. Anyway, that's that one. Sorry. And here's one for Cameron with his big society. Big society is full of anxiety, it's got no piety, no variety, no sobriety, it's full of notoriety, where the high and mighty need big psychiatry. And, and here's another one just to get rid of my um, passionate, uh, shall we say, uh, healthy anger. It goes like this. I'm sitting in the cosmic shit house waiting for the time to fly back to my flower power mansion back home in the spiritual sky away from these mugging dictators who just make everyone cry and back to my loving creator in the world where nobody cries where nobody lies and where nobody dies <coughs> anyway, anyway i was lucky enough to enjoy the 60s and i took off in the summers of love how we need that today, you know, flower power, it was a fabulous time to be young in this, this city. Whatever happened to it, I don't know. I mean, you look around Camden today, they're all wearing the same t-shirt, keep calm, carry on. Well, I'd just like to say to them, keep calm, carry on and see your psychiatrist. <laughs> I took birth on this earth and I left in a hearse and the herd in between was a hell of a lot worse. Especially when I saw the art of a demon curse who tried to break the heart of the universe. And I fell out of the womb and I left in the tomb just to share a room with the prophet of doom. Then I flew to Keith Moon on a pale afternoon and came back down to earth with a plastic spoon and gave it to Pete Townsend who wrote the song, I was born with a plastic spoon in my mouth, the beginning of a song called Substitute, if any of you are old enough to remember that. I, I, I'm old enough to remember now, I'm, I've, I've just turned 65, believe it or not, but that's just in this body. Deep down, I'm eternal. Right. I was a genius till I went to school, where I learned to be so serious that I became a fool. They put me in a uniform and told me what to do, telling me that I'd been born to follow stupid rules. They taught me mathematics, but still I can't add up since their automatic calculator screwed my brain right up. They taught me how to read, but still I cannot write. But I still got my degree, because the spell check got it right. This one's called I Was Only Born For Love, a quick one. I wasn't born to mow your lawn. I wasn't born to cut your hedge. I wasn't born for your uniform because I was only born to be cutting edge. I wasn't born to beg with your bowl. I wasn't born to live in your hole. I wasn't born for you to control because I was only born to do some rock and roll. Because I was only born for love, honey. I was only born for love. I was never born for love of money, honey. I was only born for love. Which goes on into this one called I'm going back home to the rainbow sun. I don't want to take another birth in this demon crazy universe. I'm going back home to the rainbow sun. I'm going to a world where no one dies, away from this hell of material lies. I'm going back home to the rainbow sun. I'm gonna fly away when I die, when I say goodbye to planet Earth, where I won't have to slave away every day just to get paid to pay for my grave. I'm gonna break free from these globalized chains and flow with the stream where my soul always reigns. <clears throat> I'm going back home to the rainbow sun. I'm gonna get an education that touches my heart, not an education that breaks me apart. I'm going back home to the rainbow sun. 
And here's, and here's uh, the last one. Goes on. It's, a, it's, it's for, for long attention spans. This one. Bit of a risk in here because I think most people have got a short attention span. But that's all right. And uh, oh no, no. I'm just going to do this one quickly because it might suit some of you. I always say if you're not a drug addict or alcoholic in this world, there's something wrong with you. Right. So uh, this one's called Shambolic Melancholic Love Romantic. Poor me, poor me. Poor bit of large one, if you want me to get my work done. Can't you see I need a drink? Much more than I need a shrink. A pint of wine, barman, please. Makes my mind feel at ease. I thought it would do just for starters. I'll have the case for me afters. Hangovers? No, not for me. Can't you see what the cure might be? A nice stiff one on the rocks before I put on my shoes and socks. I have no problems, can't you see? I have the solutions in front of me. Intoxicating spirit is my path. I also pour it in my bath. When I slur my words in front of you and snog your bird and make you blue, can you just remember that I'm your mate and order up another crate? You must know that I'm a lovely fella. Till the last bell goes, I'm like Cinderella. And that's when I go out of drag and all my riches turn into rags. On the morning after, when the bill's rolling, I throw them straight into the litter bin. And when someone comes to ring my bell, I say I'm not in and go to hell. I sit around getting pissed to remember that I'm a piss artist. And when someone calls me an alcoholic, I say, course I'm not. I'm a shambolic melancholic. And it's your round because I lost my wallet. <laughs> Last one now. I'm going to rock my soul for eternity. So nothing's going to get me down. Now this temporary world of insanity is run by a nightmare clown who lives on the ocean of frozen emotion who tries to play God with mankind instead of living on the ocean of love and devotion where emotions are always divine. Because God made this world free with milk and honey but man made it hell when he killed it all with money. Now there's a globalized gamut eating up the planet making everybody panic on planet titanic they're bailing out the bankers who got us into debt and jailing all the paupers because they got nothing left now i can't afford a mortgage on a room to swing a cat a tent in a mortar is much cheaper than the flat because they sold off the silver and they sold off the gold when they sold off the kingdom that belonged to rock and roll because it's all about money power and control when no one gives a monkeys when you talk about the soul so we better start returning to the Garden of Eden. Now they're burning all our freedom in the Garden of Demons. Where the one who picked the apple is the one they call the thief. But the one who nicked the apple tree is the one they call the chief. The philosophy of the elitist is to prey upon the weakest. Where slavery is the cheapest in the hellhole, it's the deepest. Where the cheaters cheat the cheated, then they beat the meekest. So we all feel defeatist in the hellhole, it's the bleakest. <coughs> Where politics divides, what kingdoms unite, so divide and rule can make everyone fight. Where money is the miser that looks down on the poor, driving many a man to suicide and countries into war. So make peace, not war. I think I've heard it all before. The war on ignorance is what we need, not laws of ignorance that make us bleed. Because when good men do nothing, nothing gets done. That's when the demons make everyone run. And when good men stop loving, nothing is won. Because love's the only weapon to conquer the gun. Now they're finding all the birds for singing in the trees. And they're finding all the troubadours for singing songs of peace. And they find you when you're feeding the homeless who are bleeding. And they find you when you tell them that it's love that you believe in. And the great unknowns, they sleep on the streets on beds of stone with cardboard sheets. Some are romantics, artists and writers who came to this planet to enlighten the blighters. And the tramp sits aloof on the rich man's roof. Now he knows that everybody is a prostitute. And the poet in the gutter is doing mighty fine. Now he knows a lover who really is divine. So you better tell the bailiff his life is such a waste. Because I'll never let the bailiff through the pearly gates. And you better tell big brother there's a camera in the sky. To show him all his karma on the day that he dies. Because I was never born and I will never die. My body is my uniform to live another lie. Because I was never born and I will never die. Because really I belong to the lover in the sky. So if I was your king, I'd burn all the money. I'd fill up your dreams with milk and honey. 
I give back the land the Lord made for you and help you to understand an Eden that's true. And if I was your king, I'd burn all your greed by giving you everything that you could ever need. I'd build you all homes of touchstone and gold and show you the jewels inside of your soul. And if I was your king, I'd charge you no fee because everything for you was meant to be free. There's always plenty when we empty our hands. Try to understand the true fellowship of man. So make peace, not war. That's the key to heaven's door. Flowers of love are all we need, not towers of blood for power and greed. Thank you very much for listening. Hare Krishna.